I think mm. this was the most disrespectful. Yeah, he got right yeah, to the I really, I really even, this morning. Even yeah. down to the Alchemist beat. It mm. felt so scary and ominous, like like a scary movie that but you didn't know how it was gonna end. <laughs> It's very like psychologically yeah. damaging to Drake. Okay. It's a letter yeah. to his family. Yeah. Who he's spoken a plethora about over the years. His mother, we got Sandra's Rose. He's talking about his father and how he felt like he maybe had some deadbeat moments. He's spoken about his family at length and about Adonis when Pusha T revealed it. Yeah. Even so, the even the cover art. Yeah. The cover art had a lot of a lot of meaning Stuff to it. Stuff in it, yeah. Let's yeah. get into it. Pause that real quick. I'm sorry. I want us to go into this with the thought of Kendrick probably thinking that he had the drop on Drake, right? Mm -hmm. With, oh, shit, I'm about to reveal he got a daughter. Again, if the story is true that he was read misinformation, I'm sure it's going to uh, reveal itself in the coming days and the coming moments. I was going, I, I, if I'm Kendrick, I'm going into this shit like, oh, shit, <laughs> got him. Got him. We, we up again. Yeah. Because uh, after this is after Family Matters and Kendrick's like, that's all you got? That's all you got? Oh, shit. So let me make okay. this as ominous and scary as possible for you. And this was dropped like 15 minutes after. Right, right. Man, it's your father. Let me be honest. It takes a man to be a man. Your dad is not responsive. I look at him and wish your grandpa were the world kind. See, nigga, I'm scared. I'm sorry that you got to grow up and then stand behind him. Life is hard, I know. The challenge is always go beat us home. Sometimes our parents make mistakes that affect us until we grown. And you a good kid that need good leadership let me be your mentor since your daddy don't teach you shit never let a man piss on your leg son either you die right there or pop that man in the head son never fall in the escort business that's bad religion please remember you could be a bitch even if you got bitches never cold switch whether right or wrong <laughs> he's talking that was hard you could be a bitch even though you got bitches yeah he's like i don't give a fuck <laughs> Like your daddy did, fuck what Ozempic did. Don't pay to play with them Brazilians, get a gym membership. Shoot now. Understand, no throwing rocks and hiding hands, that's law. Don't be ashamed about who you with, that's how he treats your mom. Facts. Don't have a kid to hide a kid to hide again, be sure. 5% will comprehend, but 95 is lost. Be proud of who you are. Your strength come from within. A lot of superstars, that's real. But your daddy ain't one of them. And you nothing like him. You'll carry yourself as king. Can't understand me right now. Just play this when you're 18. Okay. Yeah, I got two points at that point. Okay. So, uh, I think it's the 33 second mark. Mm -hmm. Where um, he talks about uh, never letting somebody piss on your leg. Say it, P. Going back to the story that um, T.I. Uh, told. Or well, the story of T.I.'s friend Cap, I think his name was. Um, they were at a screening for one of T.I.'s movies, and he was drunk, pissed in the aisle, and some of the piss wound up on Drake's leg. <laughs> so he, uh, Kendrick is saying to Adonis, yo, don't let, ever let another man piss on your leg. Yeah, that's coming because your father did it. Yeah. Don't tell me some shit my father did, nigga. Don't tell me some shit that happened to my father. Right. I, <clears throat> I think that first verse, again... I think this is, if not the most disrespectful, I think it's the most cerebral um, because it's picking apart at somebody in a different type of way. Um, I appreciate this. Again, yeah. I told y'all, the, the the beef between Drake and Pusha T, I was a team Pusha T. Yeah, he was so VA. There's a certain aspect <laughs> of cerebralness yeah. that I just appreciate as the core to who I am as a being. Yeah. That it's like, it doesn't matter the voice, it doesn't matter the song, it doesn't matter the beat. Mm -hmm. I think there's a certain level of homework. I think there's a certain level of um, care that you do when you have an opponent that you respect. And regardless of what you say about Kendrick and Drake, I think there's a lack of, maybe from a front-facing standpoint, Drake doesn't seem to really respect Kendrick in the same way that Kendrick seems to respect Drake when it comes to this arena. Right. Like, you only drop three, four diss songs in a week if you respect your opponent. Or if, if you, you understand if you think, your If you opponent. think he's worthy yeah. of your time. That's exactly. Yeah. That's Especially from That's somebody who values their time. Mm -hmm. Kendrick has shown us he values his time mm -hmm. because I don't need to drop every year, every two years, every three years. Right. I value my ready. time because I'm going to give you what it is that you want or what it is that I want you to have when I'm ready. So for him to do this in a short amount of time, yeah. I think that just shows us as consumers, oh, I respect this guy. Also, real quick, thank you. You mentioned something about the beat. Yep. I saw a lot of people complaining about the beat. Um, again, real quick. 
This is going to be in and out, Savon, so you don't even have to worry. Let's do it. If you don't want to hear Alchemist beats in a rap battle, respectfully, this ha- I promise you, I mean this with no re- disrespect. Let's talk to about your favorite cooking show. Uh, t- tell me the book you've been reading. Okay, like this is hip hop. This is hip hop. Yeah, I-, I know a lot of y'all are new here, maybe and confused. <laughs> I want to hear Alchemist in a Beats, rap beef. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm not expecting to wind upon a gal <laughs> in a rap beef. If it happens, I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> but I'm not whining upon <laughs> gal. Happens, I'm happy. Uh, if it happens, I'm happy. I'm not whining upon gal and rap beef. I want this shit to get scary. This is verse two. He talks to Drake's parents. Dear Sandra. Oh my God. Oh, Sandra. Habits, I hope you don't undermine them. Especially with all the girls that's hurt inside this climate. You a woman, so you know how it feels to be in alignment. When Get up! No man can see you and not be blinded. Dear Dennis, <laughs> they don't knock rock out. <laughs> Meek. Don't talk to my mom, yo. More paper and more paper and more, uh, more paper. Damn. Real quick. <laughs> I just think that was hip hop. Like when oh, I, I listened to that back, hell yeah, the, hell yeah. The, uh, yeah, yeah, the cadence, paper, the, the cadence. The paper, like the that's just me saying, like nigga, I'm really him. <laughs> and again, I got my cape in the locker. I'm not gonna lie to you. Drake, get up, get up. That's crazy yeah. to tell somebody. Yeah. Hey. I don't. I, I can't. Oh my god. This. This is defi- definitely the most like disrespectful oh, dude, song sure. out of the battle because. Y- you're telling somebody's mom, like speaking to someone's mom, that she raised a piece of shit son. Like that is v- so fucking disrespectful. Like, the angle, the angle to take on. I'm sorry, so that crazy. really, really, really hurts. Like, I don't know why I'm, I'm hurt right now because I mean, my parents raised a great person, so yeah. I don't know why I'm like offended. Like I feel right. it right now. Like, and a lot of us are kind of you see Drake made us comfortable with the names of his parents. Mm-hmm. Right, we've yeah, heard. He said, "Dear Sandra." Yeah. Dear Sa- Sandra, Sandra yes. Rose. Rose. I got an ex. Her mom is named Sandra. My so sister's that hurt. name is Sandra. <laughs> We're like, why, why is that? Hurt? Like, why are you bring up your ex? Yeah, why hurt? Because <laughs> like, why you say that name, nigga? <laughs> Call her <laughs> Sandy, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> but I your get ex. It. Like,